Hey you guys and welcome to day five of our 30 day decluttering challenge and today we're tackling the fridge. I'm not just talking about expired food or leftovers that we don't know how long have been in there or moldy cheese. I'm talking about even those products that even though they're still good, we're not using, we haven't used, we don't like, and it's time to let them go. Throwing away food can sometimes seem wasteful, especially if that food is still good, but holding on to it isn't making it any less wasteful, it's just taking away the space. As soon as we've purchased and opened something, we've already wasted it if we don't like it. So really, let's just forgive ourselves dump it down the drain, recycle the container, and let it go. So I took everything out of the fridge and I had to give it a quick wipe down. I only had 15 minutes, so I didn't do a big deep scrub, but I wiped everything down. Make sure that when you are wiping out your fridge, you're gonna use a non-toxic, like non-scented cleaner. I'm just using vinegar and water. Trust me, you don't wanna use any scented or chemicals in your fridge. I'll share a story with you why at the end. Put back the things that we actually like, that we actually will eat. No, I made sure that nothing expired went back in or any of those alcoholic beverages that we're never going to actually drink. I dumped them down the drain and recycled them. This house, something I've struggled to let go of is alcoholic beverages. I don't even drink, but the thing is we buy it when we have company coming over or we're having a party and then my husband and I aren't going to drink any of the leftovers so I leave them in the fridge for years. We've had these like wine coolers and things in the fridge for years and I just hold on to them. Like they're so old that I wouldn't even serve them to a guest now, but it feels wasteful to get rid of them so I've just been storing I've been storing this stuff in the fridge taking away from the space that I can actually use so today I'm decluttering I'm purging leftovers that are like super old and things that I've purchased like that spicy mustard no one likes that's been living in my fridge for three years today is the day it's going and you you should set your timer for 15 minutes and purge your fridge too So what are you waiting for? Set your timer for 15 minutes and purge your fridge right now. So thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I do have more stories to share with you, embarrassing things that have happened to me, but there's only been maybe five or six in my lifetime. And I'm almost 40, which isn't bad. So I have, I think, one or two left. I've shared the most embarrassing things with you. So it's not like my whole life is just a, a lot of a string of embarrassments. No, no, there's been a few. Um, but I, uh, I'm almost done. But I wanted to bestow my wisdom to you today. I wanted to share an experience with you so that you could learn from my mistake and it's appropriate because it's about my fridge. When I was in my early 20s, Joe and I were dating about a year and I started getting like a little domesticated, you know, as you do when you fall in love. And I was trying to cook and it wasn't good. But um, anyway, so I was cooking more, so I had a lot of leftovers, which would go in the fridge to die, which is what leftovers still do in my house. And so there was things dripping and gross and smell and, you know, things molding, which for me was all new because I never really cooked up until this point. So I didn't know how to clean a fridge and it was like sticky and gross. So what I did being the genius that I am, is I poured a bunch of pine salt in the bottom of the fridge to let it soak, to like maybe get rid of the grossness. Shut the door and came back a few days later, cleaned out all the pine salt, which in my defense really did make the sticky stuff come off a little bit better, but then everything tasted like pine salt. Everything that was in the fridge was ruined. It smelled like pine salt, it tasted like pine salt, so I had to take all that food out, I rinsed this fridge so good. I can't even tell you how many times I had to buy all new food over and over again because it continued to taste like pine salt. If something got put in that fridge, it was gone. It was ruined forever. And so I moved because it was an apartment. <laughs> it wasn't my fridge. I left it for the next person who rented it. It was straight up ruined, which kind of makes me a bad person. I know I probably should have replaced it. Listen, I made bad choices back then. I make better choices today. My point is, 
don't use chemicals to clean your fridge. Don't use any sort of scented or any type of cleaner at all, really. I really recommend just vinegar and water or maybe lemon, something that you would eat. If you would eat it, it's okay to clean your fridge with. Otherwise, that stuff is somehow getting into your food. Legit it is. So I don't know if it like dripped down into the coils or it was absorbed into the plastic and was like leaching out. Whatever the reason, lesson learned. And now I can share that lesson with you. Don't use harsh chemicals in your fridge. It will straight up ruin it and you will be eating those chemicals. So there you go. You're welcome. I'll see you next time.